The genuine opposition is composed of many parties. One set is the UNO, which is also a coalition of several parties. And that's UNO. At first, they wanted it. All, all uh, candidates for senators, 1 to 12, to be just from the UNO. So, wala nang lugar yung ibang opposition. That's why, Sean Democratico, my, our party, uh, was trying to look for a place because we have learned our lesson that if you run independent, it's very difficult. It's always good to go with a group, right? So, I waited, waited, waited until they loosened up in the UNO and they got seven or something. I don't know how many slots. They left five open for uh, Manny Villar, who is MP, and then Noy uh, Noy uh, Aquino is Liberal Party, and then uh, Niki Kosateng was NPC, and then, uh, is that right? No, no, one more minute. One more minute? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm telling a story. But anyway, uh, the opposition, there must always be an opposition in a democratic society. Because if not, who will ask that it's the, the ruling government or the reigning government, you know, uh, about transparency and accountability and good governance? That's what's the role of the opposition. Therefore, it is important that a, a democratic uh, country must have an opposition. And that's why I joined the opposition with our Action Democratico, still sticking to its principles, which is, in short, people are our wealth, they are more important than institutions, Women and children must have first access to resources. The Filipino family is the foundation of our nation. Every Filipino must enjoy the right to education. Economic reforms must provide equal opportunity for all and special privileges for none. Enforce the rule of law for justice to prevail, protect the environment to sustainable development, inculcate the values of work, study, and prayer. So my dear, dear uh, young voters, don't forget May 14. Thank you. Thank you. Ang Pilipinas remains to be the richest, one of the richest natural resources, and the Filipino remains to be one of the most intelligent people in the world. But why have we become this way? Because of poor leadership. So the answer or solution to all our woes is a God-fearing, principled, and no-nonsense political leadership. Our motto in Ang Kapatiran is put God back in the center of politics. At present, we have political leaders who are ashamedly indulge in politics which is synonymous to celebrity or entertainment, pork barrel, patronage, payoff, deception, hypocrisy, dishonesty and cheating, immoral compromises, use of guns and goons and gold. They are the age-old, antiquated and abhorred traditional politicians or trappers. Ito ho ang tinututokan na ang kapatiran parties. Let us put God back in uh, God back in politics. Let us bring God-fearing leaders in our government, and after that, that everything will follow. Kasi wala ang tao ng makajos na natatapos sa panginoon Dios. Hindi makakagawa ng mga talamak na gawain na hindi dapat yun nagawa ng isang public servant. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Perez. Uh, everyone. Say to say today. One is I am pleased that there seems to be a strong commitment from our senatorials um, to building a more participatory political culture. I think it's very important to focus on equipping young people especially with the tools to make rational decisions and responsible decisions. I think it's very important to focus on education and grassroots campaigns. So I'm glad that the on the ground situation is not neglected. We're not limiting ourselves to very high politics issues and forgetting that it's the voter who makes the choice. That voter has to be given the intellectual tools to make the choice. Second, and this is this I say with mixed emotions, 
I was a bit sad initially that we seemed trapped in this firefighter mentality. Most of the discussion really revolved around curbing abuses, electoral reform, or how do we address the problem, the, or is it even a problem that we have dynasties, or the pork barrel, or the VFA? So it's really about, all these, these things are usually given already in other countries. These things are already fixed, so we work from there. But in our case, we're trapped fixing them, and that's usually the main platform. But then again, while that's a sad thing, I also realized that we have to engage these things because we cannot just accept them as the rules of the game. Uh, we sort of have to resist them also. So maybe um, we're starting from a lower point compared to the other countries we like um, talking about in the discussion today. But I think it's better that we, we don't accept the, the, the logic that we have to deal with it because that's the way it works. That has to be resisted. So it's a good thing that it is being resisted. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Um, I'm as anxious and excited about voting as I am about debate tournaments. It's because I think participating in elections and in the electoral process is in fact a heavy civic responsibility. And I encourage um, my fellow first-time voters to do our homework, let's do our homework and prepare. Because um, because we are casting our votes, we are going to be part of what's going to happen to our system. And if it messes up this time around, we're going to be part of it this time. And for the people in the opposite bench, um, I hope that should uh, we. I love to hear everything that you said, and I appreciate the fact that all of you did your homework and you know what our country needs. But I hope that should should you guys get into power, I do hope that you realize that it, your responsibility to your constituency doesn't end in the elections. We will be watching you, and as the nature of a lot of young people, we have access to the internet. And I don't want to blackmail you or scare you or anything, but we do have access to the internet, and a lot of the bills that you pass in the Senate will be accessible to us. We are watching what you're doing, and we will be transferring our right to rule this country to you guys. So I hope that the moment that you're there, you don't forget the people who brought you to power and try to, be uh, and try to represent their interests best when you get there.